Over the past three years, airports have become like a second home to me. On average, I travel for more than half the month, so I've spent hours at airports. And when you're in and out of airports, like I have been, they kind of become your happy place. The countless hours spent at airport lounges, the early morning drives to the airport, and learning to keep yourself entertained during long layovers are kind of like second nature to me. But all that changed when lockdown happened earlier this year. The last flight I'd taken was in March 2020 to get home from Boston, and it's been nine long months since I've seen an airport. But that's about to change today. This video is brought to you by Skillshare, and I'll talk more about them later in the video. Hey guys, it's Pratika. Welcome back to my channel. I'm at an airport. Can you believe it? After nine months, and I thought I'll vlog the whole experience because honestly, I think this is the longest I've gone without being on a flight in like ten years now. So I wanted to start vlogging outside, but I'm kind of thrown off with how many people there are here. It's not as crowded as usual, but still there are a lot of people, and I've mostly just been home these past nine months. So I was definitely a bit thrown off, but nonetheless, I'm just gonna go check in my bag now and see you guys inside and let you know how this whole experience has been. I just finished checking in, and that was such a smooth experience. It honestly took like two minutes. So you're supposed to web check in in advance, and when I did that, they said that you need to print out your uh, boarding pass and your baggage tag. So I did do that, but it wasn't really required here. I just showed my boarding pass on the phone, and they printed out a bag tag for me. I didn't even have to use any of these kiosks because uh, I'm flying Air Asia, and they don't require you to do that. So I just had to go to the counter, and they did everything for me. Literally took like two minutes, but I'm gonna go for security check. The line in the back there looks quite long, so I don't know how long it's gonna take. But so far, it's been quite smooth. Done with security check, and I found like this super empty spot, literally by myself on the other side of the airport. So I'm just sitting here. I reached so early. I still have like an hour and a half to go for my flight to start boarding. So I'm just gonna chill here, or I may go check out the lounge actually. But before that, let me prop my camera here. So honestly, this is not how I imagined this vlog to go. I thought I'll be vlogging the whole process, but it was just so difficult. I'm not used to having people around me anymore, and with the mask and like holding all these things, I was just like not able to vlog. But let me tell you what exactly happened. So before you actually get into the airport, you need to have your boarding pass either on your phone or a printout. On my ticket, it said that you need to have like a printed copy of your boarding pass and stick your bag tags and stuff. But like I mentioned, you don't need to do that. They accept like uh, digital copies of your boarding pass on your phone as well but web check in is mandatory so if you're flying you need to do that and the really nice thing was that when you're entering they had like these glass windows through which the security guards check your boarding pass and your id so it's completely contactless you're literally showing it to them in your hand through that glass window and that's how it happened in fact the whole experience until now has been quite smooth uh, i was quite paranoid because i didn't know how things are going to be right now but yeah it was quite smooth so you enter and then you go in and check in your stuff depending on your airline uh, i think you may have to use the kiosk to print out your bag tags and stuff but uh, i'm flying air asia that was the only flight time that worked for me so i'm flying that also i don't know if i mentioned i'm flying to mumbai so basically i'm flying from chennai to mumbai and i started my journey at like 7 am today because velor is like 3 hours away from chennai also when you enter they check your temperature and i read online that you need to have the arogya setu app downloaded so i do have the app and my status on that is green so it's safe Uh, but they haven't checked it yet. I'm guessing it's probably going to be checked when uh, I land in Mumbai. We'll find out. But I do have uh, the airport lounge access. Put my priority card to use. So I think I'm going to go do that. I'm super hungry as well. I don't know if you can tell, but this is the crowd here today. Quite crowded. Okay, it looks like everyone has come to the lounge because the lounge is full. They are giving away free food for people who are allowed to go to the lounge, but there's no like space to sit. So I'm just walking away from the lounge. Thankfully, my mom packed me some uh, sandwiches, so I'm just gonna find a spot and eat them. So I've just come to my gate. I'm sitting here now. Uh, no one around me, thankfully. 
but oh my god you can't even breathe in these n95 masks but yeah i'm noticing that a lot of people here aren't even wearing masks i mean even i'm not at this point but no one's around me uh, but like even in crowded places like some people just have their masks down so yeah all kinds of people here i guess but i'm just like being extra cautious and like using sanitizer every time i touch something i think i'm carrying like a month's worth of sanitizer even though i'm just going for four days but yeah i feel better to be like safe than sorry so my mom has thankfully made me some food which is coming to the rescue so i'm just gonna sit here and eat my food i think my flight should start boarding in like half an hour or so so i'm just waiting for that Got my AirAsia safety kit. I'm gonna finish my food and see what's inside this. Okay, so they very suddenly started boarding, so I'm just going in now. Uh, haven't had the time to open this, but inside this, there's a mask, a sanitizer, and the shield. This feels so weird. I haven't done this in so long. I'm literally the only person here right now. I don't think this has ever happened, but this feels. so weird before proceeding to board i'm going to take a quick moment to talk about today's sponsor which happens to be one of my favorite online learning platforms skillshare skillshare has thousands of inspiring classes that fuel your creativity and curiosity they have classes on lots of fun and creative topics like videography photography design illustration productivity and even entrepreneurship and as a member you get unlimited access to all their classes recently i did a class on productivity by ali abdal it's called the productivity masterclass principles and tools to boost your productivity and if you watched ali's videos you probably know how productive he is and he's also an amazing teacher so doing his class was a lot of fun i feel like uh, although i try to be productive in 2021 i want to be even more productive so i learned a lot of interesting things in his class the first 1000 people to click the link in the description will get a free trial of skillshare premium membership and after that it's only under 10 dollars a month if you get the annual plan Honestly, I have done so many classes on Skillshare this year and it's been a very good use of my time. So I definitely recommend trying out Skillshare. At least do the free trial and see if you like it. Again, the link is in the description. Now let's get back to the video. Made it inside. Got my shield on. I switched my mask because I literally couldn't breathe in my N95 mask. And the good news is that there's no one next to me, so I've got the whole road to myself. In fact, the whole flight is actually quite empty, so that's nice. landed in mumbai and oh my god this face shield is not very comfortable to wear had to wear it throughout the flight and i literally have a headache right now but i'm so excited to finally be back in mumbai i'm going to talk more about how i'm feeling because literally the last time i left mumbai i didn't know i'm not coming back for a while so i'm feeling all kinds of feelings but first going to go get my luggage and then i'll see you guys outside Guys, this is honestly like so stressful. I've been trying to book an Uber for the last 20 minutes, but my internet isn't working here properly, and it's just like quite chaotic. Finally, managed to book an Uber now. I'm just waiting for it. Oh, uh, I think it should take like another five minutes to get here. my room this is what it looks like i'm staying at the trident in bkc all right so i feel like i've just been running around at the airport got here my uber took like 20 minutes to like just book because my internet wasn't working over there so honestly it's been a stressful morning uh, but talking about the whole airport experience long story short it's not as uh, stressful as i thought it would be i was feeling super anxious about traveling and taking a flight after so long but there are provisions in place and social distancing is sort of being practiced more or less but having said that there are lots of people who still don't really care they're still like not wearing a mask no shield so uh, i think the best thing to do when you're traveling is to just uh, take care of yourself take all the precautions possible keep using sanitizer I even carried like sanitizer wipes. 
So when I sat down on the plane, I wiped everything around me, whatever I was touching. I'm sure the airlines do that too, but just to be safe, I did it myself as well. And it was so hard to vlog. Oh my God, I don't think I've ever struggled with a vlog this much. But just the whole like mask and shield and the bags that I'm carrying and like everything just made vlogging very hard. But I really wanted to make this video because so many of you asked me for it on Instagram. I still don't think traveling is a good idea, honestly. Like I'm of the opinion that uh, only travel if you have to. I have some work and it's my best friend's wedding in Jaipur. So I really couldn't miss that. So I'm in Bombay for two days and then I'm going to Jaipur. Still quite paranoid about the whole attending a wedding thing, but just gonna be extra cautious from my end. And another thing is that I was expecting to like get my temperature checked and all of that in Mumbai. Nothing happened, no checking, no Arogya Setu app, nothing. But the good thing is that when I got to this hotel, the Trident, they, before I even got in, like made me show them my Arogya Setu app, checked my temperature, took my bags aside and sanitized them. So that's really nice. Uh, but yeah, at the airport, I feel like not as many precautions were being taken in Mumbai. So the best thing again, like I said, is to just take the precautions from your end and do your best and just keep sanitizing, wash your hands when possible, don't touch your face, just the usual stuff. I think the airports and airlines are honestly doing a good job uh, because everything is more or less contactless. But uh, yeah, I think if you're traveling, just be responsible. If you're unwell, don't travel. It's not a good idea. Uh, get tested if you have the symptoms. Check the guidelines for the state that you're traveling to. So for Mumbai, if you're traveling from Chennai, which is where I was flying from, you don't really need a COVID or report so keep checking for these because i feel like every month these guidelines keep changing so be responsible and i think you'll be fine so anyway that's all for this vlog i really just wanted to make this to share the information because i know a lot of you guys wanted to know like what airports are like right now so i hope this was useful in that sense if you have any questions just comment and let me know because i feel like there's so much information i don't know if i've covered everything here and i'm in this really nice room for the next couple of days today i have work but tomorrow hopefully i'll have more time so i'm thinking i'll just do like a nice staycation also i booked this room for like two nights for three thousand rupees so if you want to know how i did that i'll talk about it in the next vlog so subscribe to my channel press the bell button so you know when that video goes up and i will see you guys next time bye